What is going on gamers? Welcome to the 2020 season of Mutant Football League. This is week one gameplay. First up, man, let's take a look at the season. We got some pretty heavy hitters lined up for this year going up against the Baltimore Razors. And you can see here, definitely quite the battle ahead of us. Welcome to sold out b and Spike Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. You folks watching from home are in for a real treat today as these teams will look to do the impossible, the unthinkable, and the absolutely unimaginable. What's that, Grim? Raise Baltimore's already sky-high homicide rate. <laughs> it's opening day of a new football season, and today's matchup is going to be a good one. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Baltimore Razors. Welcome to week one of a new MFL season. Hi, everyone. This is Grim Blitzrow, and the kickoff is about to begin. Let's hear the pregame pep talk. I was I well, it's the first day of the season, and MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan, and Mini Bricks. It's opening day, Bricks. The smell of hot dogs, beer, and death fills the air. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, I have to disagree, Grim. If you switched hot dogs with liverwurst sandwiches, well, now you're living. Hey, somebody killed something already. It ain't a game until someone's head falls off. He's at the 10. Touchdown! He takes it to the house on the kickoff return and scores. Man, what a play. <laughs> Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banshee, the new game 
Dean from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> it looks like the defense had that I shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous dirty trick there, Bricks. Nobody can touch him with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. Hey, that's right. Hey, what you doing? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And this guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Remember that time in Cabo? And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service. Look at it just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. forever and he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball second down in a mile Maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Third down and forever. <laughs> well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Third down and 
The defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. And he laterals the ball. Man, oh, nice hit. First and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. The 10. He scores! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show, sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. the NFL half. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, yeah. football games are kind of like boobs. Yeah. Big or small, yeah. they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <laughs> All week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Seven. The defense knocked a pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. And they'll bring up third down and seven. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Wow! Like a blood mobile crashing into a 
Slaughterhouse! First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Gorgeous kick. Better ensure that leg. Who knows how long he'll keep it. but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a man. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boost. Oh, welcome to Bumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said.
If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Ah, uh, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And they call it ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw 902... And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down, and he, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And the off tire to the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic <laughs> Oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. Yeah. goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how he spends his entire off season. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room that goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell he'll be going on site here and the return team is ready for it no surprises here some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And he's off to the races. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. for one when you could go for two. That's always been my philosophy. But Fritz can't even get That's a beautiful pass for the conversion. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing, but just marking his territory. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll be... The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks to the Oh, with a punishing hit. Third down and eight. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The offense goes into their 
two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably have an interception, though. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. comes the extra point attempt. That kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just kick. Razors win the game in their own backyard. Now the neighbors can quit complaining and join the party. It was total and complete and utter domination. And speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Ah, I'd like her to walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right every other time.